In December, Norfolk's minority-owned and operated Atlantic National Bank inked a pact with the Department of Transportation to provide short-term loans at the prime rate to minority firms which do business or would like to do business with the railroads. Through the joint bank and DOT venture, minority firms will now be able to draw on a $5 million loan fund. We hope that it will not only provide economic viability for the city, but for uh, banks throughout this country to be able to participate and provide uh, growth in the rail industry. Bishop Ellie Willis serves as chairman of the board at Atlantic National Bank, where growth is a key word. In the 11 years since it opened, its assets have climbed steadily from $5 million in 1975 when Reynolds joined the bank to over $14 million today. Uh, so we made a significant growth uh, in that period of time, and we did not increase employees uh, from the time I came on board. Today we have approximately 30, 29 employees. Uh, we have uh, the main office, uh, the Campostella office, uh, which is located in the giant open-air market, and then we have the Mid-City office, which was just opened on December 20th. Marquita Johnson, a nine-year employee of the bank, has witnessed most of its growth. I've seen it within the last five or six years, just about double what it was in 1974 and in 1975 particularly in this time of recession, and it's still, we're still growing. Reynolds notes this is a critical time in banking. Uh, it's a time that uh, banking is going through deregulation. Uh, so it means that your employees must uh, excel in order to be able to compete. And you have to have uh, some very keen um, insight into where this economy is going in order to keep your bank uh, in the right direction and be able to compete and be com competitive. He says the economy, among other factors, are important in plotting the future growth of the financial institution. In our next report, we'll profile a military food service contractor. Ava Hurdle, The Daily News.